Love, Nazis, and espionage, what more could you want? Released in the wake of the Second World War in the fall of 1946, this $1 million film noir scored $23 million in profit. The original screenplay by Ben Heck is not only dripping with style, drama, and romantic entanglements, and also scored an Academy Award nomination. A woman is forced out of her comfort zone when she agrees to spy on a group of South American Nazis by rekindling an old relationship. Hollywood megastars Ingrid Bergman and Cary Grant play the star-crossed lovers. The former a reluctant accomplice for the Allies, and the latter is her scorned agency contact. Defending her abilities as a spy by highlighting her promiscuity, Grant reminds his CIA colleagues that she is first, last, and always not a lady. Are you idiots? What are you sore about? You knew very well what I was doing. Did I? You could have stopped me with one word, but no, you wouldn't. You threw me at him. I threw you at nobody. Didn't you tell me to go ahead? If a man doesn't tell a woman what to do, she tells herself. You almost had me believing in that little hokey-pokey miracle of yours, that a woman like you could ever change her spots. Oh, you rotten. That's why I didn't try to stop you. The answer had to come from you. I see. Some kind of love test. That's right. The difficult situation they find themselves in naturally leads to plenty of dramatic tension and dangerous liaisons. Like when they deliberately make out for minutes to avoid tipping off their nefarious actions to Bergman's unlooking Nazi prop husband, played by Claude Rains in an Oscar-nominated role. It's a particularly intimate scene, especially considering the production code for that era prohibited kisses lasting longer than three seconds, something director Alfred Hitchcock got around with cleverly timed interruptions and reaction shots. The clean 4x3 black and white frame shows off a number of impressive shots, like a two-story crane move that ends on an extreme close-up of that scene's MacGuffin, a key to the wine cellar. We take complicated maneuvers like this for granted today, but 70 years ago it required quite a bit of technical artistry to pull this off. The cat and mouse mind games that follow this scene prove why Hitchcock really was the master of suspense, as the simple location of a key or the dwindling number of wine bottles in an icebox elicit real tension and anxiety. The editing is solid as well, like a scene when Ingrid realizes she might have been poisoned, each player in the scene performing with emotional duality as the camera deftly cuts between them. Thematically, the movie remains focused on duplicity, love, and trust, which are blended together in an engrossing 101-minute cocktail. Notorious is a carefully structured romance with compelling chemistry and noir drama. I think it's a great film. That does it for this individual review, but if you'd like to watch full episodes of Movie Night and submit your own reviews to be included on the show, please visit the Jogwheel YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan Paul. Thanks for watching, and have a good movie night.